So good afternoon. We're glad to be at Gillespie Park this afternoon where we are launching a partnership that we believe is a game changer for life outcomes for kids. Um, we are appreciative to the Crown Corporation for reaching out to Gillespie Park and wanting to do something tangible to make things accessible for kids and make equity manifest in the lives of our kids. Um, and in our conversation, we were able to uh, forge a partnership that increases a ch our children's ability to access um, instruction during times like this um, by using technology in larger um, in larger ways. So one of the things that's happening here today, and we're very thankful, is that the Crown Corporation has given $8,000 to Gillespie Park in order for our children to be able to get devices, for us to build uh, plans for them to be able to have internet accessibility, and to be able to have hot spots in their homes when they are not able to get that for themselves. We know that even though the pandemic may uh, begin to dissipate and our state may open, that we will be revisiting this model from time to time when the need arises. And so making sure that each and every one of our children are able to access effective and quality instruction begins with their ability to access the internet in 2020. So we definitely want to take this opportunity to thank them. We do want to thank our district for continuing to allow us to build partnerships like this. And um, we want to just give them a round of applause. So if we could just give them a greater round of applause for reaching out and making sure that our boys and girls can have what they need. And as you can see, they're here, they have brought members of each one of the committees with the corporation, and we also have their human resource head here just to let us know that they support the other parts of our partnership. Um, and that includes that we will also have um, members of their staff who will volunteer to increase children's opportunity to practice reading at Gillespie Park, and what they have done is work as a corporation to build in incentives uh, with their employees to be able to um, not only allow them to have a reason to be here, but for them to allow it to be something that helps them as well. So thank you so much, and thank you all for being here. This money will be presented to the Student Services Department at Gillespie Park and used to increase technology usage at our school. As of last week, um, we had 86.6% of our students that were accessing technology each and every day through Canvas. So of course that leaves us almost 20% of our students that were without. And what we know in schools like Gillespie is that 20% of our children not being able to access technology and being without the ability to have a teacher to hear them, to see their reactions, to be able to have instruction meet them in that engagement place, that leaves us in a situation where when we look towards the assessments that are coming, that that has our children not able to be as prepared as others. So that 20% is critical to us. So Gillespie Park um, is right now working towards moving from the place of having a status of being a lower performing school historically. Um, but what we know is that culture makes all the difference in schools like Gillespie. Culture is the thing that drives children to that next level. And when we try to partner the, um, I, the ideal technology um, situation for a school like Gillespie, you create a culture where equity begins to drive what children um, have available to them. And what we know is that when we have a deficit of what everybody else has, then we are creating a situation where we're inequitable and our children start behind the bar. This isn't fair. And we know that our world is one where uh, we, uh, we would want every child to have what they need. But for Gillespie Park, we need people in the community who understand that just because our kids have a deficit, it doesn't mean they don't have a destiny. 
So we are glad that they are providing our kids that technology access because it increases their life outcomes and helps them move quicker, faster, and more equitably towards their destiny. One of the things that I and Crown talked about when they came is that they were very clear that they did not want this just to be a check. They did not want um, money to be present, but where partnership could be present, um, they wanted to make sure that that partnership was present and that the kids felt it. So I guess what I would share with you is this, one of the things that we added to the partnership that I believe makes the difference with a corporation coming into the school is that the kids every year will sponsor a graduation for their crown champions where the children put together the program, that the children speak and thank them for their um, being a part of their lives, and where the children build those partnerships. Now, what does that do? Mentorship, we know, makes a difference. And so it, if it was a small company, then it would be small mentorship. But because it is a dealership, a corporation that has multiple sites in Greensboro, then you're pulling from the community at different locations all over Guilford County to access the lives of children, to provide them pictures of places and, and destinies that they want to reach towards. And for me, that's what makes it important that Crown is here, that they took it upon themselves to understand that their personal presence could make the difference in where the children's personal best was. So we're excited about that.